What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Ben Thomas Show. Thanks for coming back. Today, we got another timed pre-order window open from Mondo Toys for the one six scale figure Trapjaw from He-Man Masters of the Universe. Now, I'm pretty stoked, as you guys can see in my face, because this villain is a badass. And if you don't know who he is, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a brief history in this video anyways, but if you do know who he is, you know why I'm excited. But stick around, hit the like button if you can, Smash the subscribe if you're new to the channel, and let's get into it. Okay, welcome back everybody. So for a quick history on the character Trapjaw. Obviously, Trapjaw comes from He-Man Masters of the Universe television show but also the really popular toy line now he's a member of the evil warriors he is a cyborg with mechanical sharp toothed jaw and with a deadly bite and a robotic arm onto which he can slot a wide range of different weapons which we're gonna see here with this figure he also has a loop in his helmet which he can use to slide down wires and he's a psychotic criminal from another dimension Skeletor accidentally brought him back on a return journey from his alien dimension now, Trapjaw landed inside Crassel Grayskull at that time in that episode and managed to harness the castle's power, almost enabling him to defeat He-Man, which is pretty crazy when you think about it. Now, the threat of Trapjaw caused He-Man and Skeletor to make an unprecedented effort to combine their powers, joining each half of the Sword of Power, yet holding on together. After the power was taken back from Trapjaw, Skeletor took him in, as a new servant. Trapjaw was Skeletor's wizard of weapons. Despite his relatively low intelligence, he did create and maintain all of his various arm attachments and manufactured instruments of destruction for Skeletor, and was sometimes one of the Lord of Destruction's most pragmatic and observant henchmen. Now, Trapjaw was one of Skeletor's most frequently used warriors as well, and was often paired with Beastman. Now, Trapjaw's metallic jaw could bite through almost anything, and he could swallow and digest almost any substance. When he ingested the powerful substance Eternium, he could temporarily gain strength equal to He-Man. Now, Trapjaw's most frequently utilized arm attachment was his hook, and he often used his freeze rays in battle. Now, you may also be wondering why Trapjaw, this figure specifically, has a blue head sculpt and a green Trapjaw head sculpt. So the man who had become Trapjaw was once known as Cronus, a blue-skinned criminal who joined Keldor's warriors in an attempt to overthrow the Council of Elders. When Keldor now transformed into an, the unstable Skeletor, and his warriors were trapped behind the mystic wall in the Dark Hemisphere of Eternia, Kronos grew tired of Skeletor's leadership, believing he was no longer the leader he had followed into battle. After he challenged Skeletor's leadership, Keldor was banished from Snake Mountain and raised his own army of followers to go to war with Skeletor. But Cronus was defeated and Skeletor struck him with such a force that his entire jaw was shattered and his arm broken. But in a turn of events, Skeletor recognized that he could still use Cronus. So Skeletor ordered Triclops to heal his injuries. Triclops replaced Cronus's missing jaw with a metallic one, leading Cronus to re-Christian himself as Trapjaw. He greatly feared Skeletor following this incident, but resented the damage he had endured at his hands. Whew. So that was a brief history in four minutes. I hope you guys stuck around for it. Now my thoughts on this actual figure. Clearly, I am very, very excited about this guy. I'm absolutely loving the fact that this figure comes with three head sculpts for this price. The Cronus figure head sculpt, the blue face, I don't know if I would use that one if displaying this figure because I like the way that the trap jaw head looks, most specifically the one with a really gnarly mouth piece. I love that look. But I think all three are really well done. It looks like the character in my mind's eye. I think the paint applications are fantastic in terms of Mondo quality, which is pretty standard for Mondo, let's be honest. I also really love the armor on this character. Now, for those of you who follow the channel, you know that I don't really like seams or joints on figures. But 
I would say that the majority of this figure, the joints are actually very well covered, and it makes it feel more like a traditional six scale in my mind's eye, as opposed to kind of a large scale, old school retro toy, if that makes sense. Are there still joints present? Yeah, 100%. If you want to take the armor off and display them really as Cronus as opposed to the trap jaw look, you're going to get more joints exposed. Doesn't really matter for me how you display it. For me, I would have the armor on for sure. Now let's talk a little bit about the attachments this guy comes with. As you can see, he has the removable shoulder armor and chest harness. He's got the Kronos right arm. He's got that right mech arm with a spiked mace weapon, the faux fur loincloth. The mech arm attachment includes the articulated claw, the hook, the grapple hook with string, the crossbow, the fly swatter, which is a unique inclusion actually because I think they I think they only ever showed that in one particular episode. So that's a bit of a deep cut on that one. I, I appreciate that, as well as the blaster. This guy comes absolutely stacked. Now he comes in at 12 inches tall, so he's very much a standard size Mondo release figure. He is coming in at the price point of $235. Now, this is where it gets important. This is a timed edition deluxe figure. Timed editions from Mondo means that this pre-order window is open today on March 7th at 12 p.m. Central Time, and it's through to March 9th at 11.59 a.m. Central Time. It is a limit of three figures per person if you're ordering from mondoshop.com. So take a look if you're interested in this figure sooner than later. Traditionally, these figures do sell out. So I don't wanna create fear of missing out for you folks. If this is a character you love, I would consider it. For this price point, you get a lot in with this guy. If you have the He-Man, if you have the Battle Cat, I mean, this is getting to be a pretty friggin' expensive line overall, but the value is here for me on this one. Now, I have heard about some QC issues with the He-Man. I don't know what all of those are, so I don't want to pretend to know, but hopefully this figure is free from some of those QC issues that we saw with that figure specifically. If you have that guy in your collection, I'd love to know in the comments down below if you experienced that yourself. But to reiterate, this is a timed edition release. So if you're considering it, you've got about 48 hours from March 7th to March 9th, 2023, to consider getting this guy locked in on pre-order. Will this guy be coming to my collection? Yes, 100%. I've got the He-Man coming. I had almost missed him because he did go waitlist in the past and then they reissued him. So I got the He-Man reissued and I love that figure. I can't wait to have him in my collection. I will review it when it finally arrives. And I think Trapjaw in combination with him will look awesome. I did not pull the trigger on the Battle Cat. It was like $500, which to me was aggressively expensive even as cool as it was. For those of you who have it, I'm definitely jealous because that Battle Cat is a centerpiece. But I think in terms of an animated figure line, yeah, I love He-Man, I love the old X-Men, I love Batman the Animated Series. I think I wanna start developing a shelf in the man cave here at the Ben Thomas Show for animated figures. I can see it. I finally got a reason to purpose a whole shelf. So. I'd love to hear from you guys down below. Are you considering getting this figure? Are you not? Do you think it's cool at least? I'd love to hear from you in the comments, as I said below. But if you guys like the video, hit the like button for me. Smash the subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll catch you guys on the next figure talk video. Have a great evening, guys. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.